a lot of elements that we have designed for this house has a play of shadows through you know one material or a transition of light through one space to another and in a different form it is like a elemental design approach that we have taken for the house So this house is a private residence for five, which is located uh, in a very dense and unplanned neighborhood of Bhopal, Ahmedabad. So this is a house for three generations. Elders needed a uh, easy access to the outdoors. The young ones always needed their private space, and their needs are quite different. They also have daughters and son-in-laws and grandchildren visiting them frequently. in a dynamic situation like this we just have to be sure that we are catering all their needs in terms of spaces that they require so the word komorebi it's a japanese word which means filigree of shadows through trees the north wall which is a common wall uh, the overall plot was connected with a common plot of the society which was in the west facade we were very much clear that east and west facades where the facades were uh, will be providing the openings and uh, will be making sure that the sun is penetrating into the house from east and west facades so the area of plot is 375 square yards a built up area is uh, 600 square yards so the construction area of the of the uh, house all the surroundings of the plot or the society is all the be it trees or plants or anything are 35 year old so we have a great tree foliage coming around us so it's a nice green pocket to stay in so we are entering into the house from the front gate that is into the west you are climbing few steps and getting on to the plinth which is 3.5 feet high we enter into a 15 feet high foyer area which is connected to a informal sitting kitchen living and dining this is all an open area for the house the living room and the parents room was placed in the west facade where they have a easy access to the outdoor porch connected to the garden and the water body towards the common plot and the east facade is having guest bedroom kitchen utility and the servant area the staircase was a central part of the house where we tried and penetrate the light in the center of the house that staircase we have a water body which is placed intentionally to you know keep the positive energy throughout the day if you switch on those mushroom fountains it keeps on running a very positive energy into the house and it also have a nice reading corner at the corner so when the grandchildren are visiting the house they can play their board games there or maybe read one or two books there or enjoy their own spaces we have kept the basic vastu in mind while we were designing it the entry of the house which should be the east to west considered to be the best the northeast corner is a puja room the southeast corner is a kitchen by default we have a west and east as a free facade so it kind of creates a cross ventilation anyways because the other two facades are a dead facade to have that visual connectivity plus a mental barrier we have created a lot of screens which are also part of artwork that we have created the screen between the foyer and the dining is to you know give privacy to the dining area while somebody is eating or you know sitting there and somebody is waiting in the foyer area none of them are feeling awkward about you know waiting or eating or whatever activity they are doing same goes with the living room because we don't have any informal living area it is important and the tv area is that for the ground floor it is important that they have they feel to have that sense of privacy when they are sitting and watching the tv so these slits are giving you the sense of the connectivity for someone who is you know getting into the space while you are sitting here and watching tv you can know who is there outside between the floor and the living room we have this fabricated screen which is a combination of wood and metal 
and then to add the softness and also the color as we know the overall palette is quite neutral in terms of shades of furnishings or the floor or the rugs or everything else is quite muted so this green is kind of pop that is enhancing into the room you are also experiencing this madhubani artwork that has been hand painted through this artist tree is in a flow form at the same time we have designed this bunch of cows which you know when you enter into the house is the first thing you will notice like a focal point for the house when you enter into the house they are also climbing the stairs so the whole artwork you know kinds of goes with you when you climb up through the fabricated staircase you go to the first floor which is majorly divided into three part east west and the central part the east facade is having their younger son's room adjoining with the dressing area and the toilet the west facade is having their elder son's room with adjoining uh, toilet and the balcony both the rooms are having their own individual balconies of different sizes and different scales and the central part is kept for their daughters uh, who visits once in a while both the rooms are having the full facade as a glass facade to penetrate the maximum light inside the house architecturally when you design the space rooms to be well lit is a very normal thing to everyone keeps that in mind but as for toilets we have created a different volumes in toilets too we have tried to give them dual windows not just for the exhaust purpose that people generally do that it should be you know well ventilated we feel it should be well lit too and the sunlight has to penetrate into the washrooms it was something that we were conscious about doing for the toilet designing that it should not not just be you know typical uh, typically well ventilated but should be well lit and well heated most of the time second floor is just a private floor where you know their kids most of the time enjoy uh, the space with their friends so it has a small tv lounge area kind of setup and the extended terrace with the toilet and a fixed bar that they have we have made of a stone bar the overall theme of the architecture was majorly towards the contemporary and the raw feel of the space for that we uh, took up two three good materials that we majorly use in the architectural surfaces uh, we use expose rcc raw raw textures along with that we blended it with the project 11 feet projected roof which we did in the at the top of the slab along with that the cantilevered balcony which we did it is also having fabricated members uh, which are running through a perforated screen that we did at the entrance facade along with that uh, the entrance foyer is also having a, a nice fabricated uh, roof to have a, a great cozy or feeling when we well we get into the uh, space when it comes to interior aesthetics the major design can conclude in indian contemporary theme when we talk about the indian contemporary so the contemporary in these time is through the metal so we have tried and combined these two materials which are majorly wood and metal so we have designed the screens which are combination of wood metal and then maybe fabric somewhere we have tried and experimented new surfaces in terms of furniture exploration like the concrete table that uh, we have casted along with the concrete legs in some of the private spaces like the bedrooms we have gone little more private on and differentiating the materials as per their own personalities also the color splash that we are adding into the overall house is through the artwork that we have designed for the space but rest all is very neutral and subdued it whatever they could not do in the old house because of the restriction of the pre existing area could happen in the new house when we start designing it we are grateful that you know we could give them the sense of the lifestyle that they wanted or they wanted to enhance the existing lifestyle or the extension of their own personality uh, that is depicting through the house through different areas through the personalized things or through small details that we could cater in the house 
so i think they are very happy and uh, grateful that without you know saying much we could understand them better and uh, give them the space that is more cherishing than ever for them